Hello, Spencer. So you're a part of this, too? No, no, I'm trapped in here, just like you. Yo, yeah, well, you don't look so trapped to me. I'm a wanted convict for Archie Dunhill's murder, a crime I didn't commit, remember? I took the blame for you and your friends, so I think I deserve a little trust. I thought we could have lunch together. I took a lover in Peru who owned a little restaurant that made the most exquisite saltada de pollo. I'm the only person he ever shared the recipe with. something to sleep and then the next thing I knew I woke up here. But you're safe, Spencer. She promised me. And in time, you'll earn her trust and she'll let you out of your room. Why didn't you ever tell me about her? Until a few weeks ago when she came to visit me, I didn't know where she was or if she was even alive. <laughs> didn't know was that there was a second child. Dr. Cochran arranged for Alex's adoption in exchange for half the money. You sold her? The money bought me a ticket out of Radley, and Alex went to a wealthy couple in England. I thought she would live a Cinderella life. Have you read Grimm's fairy tales? The irony hasn't been wasted on me. Apparently, Alex had some issues. And when she was still young enough to forget them, her parents left her at an orphanage. They couldn't risk tarnishing their name, so they, they even took that back. And she was given her birth name. Alex Dre. She ran away from the Ambrose home for wayward children on her 10th birthday. A year before I found out she was there. Can you imagine how alone she must have felt? Yeah, I can. There is nothing more that I would love than to hold you, Spencer, but she would never forgive me if you got out. YouTube channel.